Hello YouTube here, it's Lisa Stade of the YouTube channels Lisa Stade and Hitler Obsessed. I took a bit of a break to get some studying done before having a bit of lunch and uh, to go uh, do some more of the YouTube videos that I pretty much do need to catch up on. Uh, so I'm catching up on the la the where we left off on the life and death of Adolf Hitler lecture series. I'm uh, pretty much stuck in the cafeteria right now. Yay. I hope no one else finds this horribly terrible. But where we left off was a pretty much about the euthanasia program of the Octong T4 program though. Uh, which uh, was the the euthanasia program that start that would start off later on the Holocaust. Uh, that uh, Adolf Hitler would usher in pretty much uh, the, with the Nazis and stuff. So uh, with the distraction with other people. So that sorry for losing my train of thought though. Uh, with distraction from other people's conversations you can possibly hear on the video now. That is not gonna get taken up. So you almost suffer. But back to what I was saying was that yes, a lot of there would there is a court movement of people that uh are pro euthanasia now. Uh crazy thing is how California actually tried to pass a law and I think it got removed, thank goodness, because probably thanks to uh, people like my major that called out the judge who passed it. I, I don't know if it's still around anymore, still allowed, but uh, they would use it for like terminal illnesses when there was no hope. Well, Canada is somehow, because Canada is always going one step a bit further, uh, so it's okay to do that for disabled people. Now, like I said, that's probably going to end up getting its own little video, but surprising how that's actually history kind of cropping up again. It's crazy and real. Why you must always study your history, why you must remember your history, and why you should never be doomed to repeat it. It's a great example of today. There is a common... Uh, it was a thing practiced by the Nazis, pretty much, and it's coming back to haunt us. Because people are stupid. I don't know their history. I don't study. And before their social life and talk all the way to my college cafeteria. Yeah, we're doomed. <laughs> uh, but back to what I was saying. So the Nazis would go to one step further after you know, starting with gas chambers, uh, would be uh, injecting the patients or to intervene as IV or overdosing them on painkillers to kill them. Uh, now, I'm going to go into a little bit detail later on about you know, the ideology of this stuff and why the Nazis believed it to give a bit of a backstory. It doesn't excuse, it does not excuse what they did. So that was terrible also. Uh, but the next step would be trying to starve uh, people of food and water so they would die. Uh, even uh, people would, that were considered like, you know, that wouldn't go out so quickly, uh, that fought and resisted and tried to call it out would be threatened to be euthanized themselves. That was a practice even within the uh, the asylums and mental hospitals in the Third Reich at the time that were doing this. Because yes, some nurses and doctors would uh, try to resist and call it out for what it is, being genocide. They would be coerced that they would also get euthanized if they didn't uh, conform to the ideology. Uh, there was this disgusting and terrible in so many ways. Other cases was uh, women would be coerced into you know, doing certain faithfuls, I cannot mention on YouTube, but adult themed, uh, with also being euthanized, like the patients. Uh, 
But uh, to bring up the ideology of why the Nazis viewed this, I do not want to give those guys the benefit of the doubt or whatever, or play devil's advocate at all to such disgusting ideology and individuals. Uh, was that their viewpoint was these conditions that could, yes, can be inherited or passed down, uh, would be a burden to drain society. It would be bad for the, the Volk, which is what the Nazis believed as the German people. And they viewed that the, the German people, based off of the doing pseudoscience and ideology, was destroyed because of Jews and race mixing and stuff. It was just the worst ideology with the disgustingest outcomes. Uh, I think, you know, best description is, you know, if you put BS in, you're probably going to get BS out. Uh, so. That's pretty much the description of what I was describing now. Uh, not the best, the worst kind of stuff that a human can do. Uh, but then, you know, you get events later on like the Crystal Notch, which, yes, started by, uh, for good reasons. I don't think the guy who did this was very smart in knowing what he was doing and how the results this would have resulted. But this is the backstory to what was Crystal Notch, the Night of Broken Glass. Which, uh, <clears throat> which a, uh, I guess a French Jewish guy in France would go down to the uh, German embassy in Paris and he would shoot a, a guy that was a bastard or whatever diplomat of the Nazis. And, you know, knowing, because he was upset because he knew what was going on for good reason. I wouldn't blame him for being upset to what the Nazis were doing to the Jews even back then. They were killing them, they were euthanizing them, they were sterilizing them. They made sure that before the beginning of the Holocaust they'd boycott Jewish stores. They would have uh, SA stormtroopers telling Germans not to buy from uh, Jewish businesses. They would close down Jewish businesses. They would freeze Jewish bank accounts, ban up schools, swimming pools, parks and stuff, make them with a yellow stall wherever they went so that they could be harassed and bullied and therefore they'll be fine. Because knowing this is sort of like they're just insane nut jobs. Uh, terrible wicked people. Uh. Which, uh, which again, you know, Hitler took this little opportunity that kind of you know, fell into his lap uh, and told all the Nazi leaders, but now he made sure that someone is going to get blamed in the party so it wouldn't come back to him. So kind of like every toxic relationship, you know, if you've ever been in one of those, they'll, they use uh, other people as flying monkeys uh, who also be the fall guy. So uh, they'll tell the little flying monkeys to go after someone. And then, you know, when people call them out, you know, call, try to call the post out, they'll blame the, fall mon the flying monkey or the fall guy. So. That's what Hitler would do. He would tell the Nazi leaders to instigate, you know, secretly crystal notch. That's what he did for the, uh, the Reichstag file. He would have the Nazis actually instigate that. So, but you know, a lot of people in decades would think it was the communists. Eventually it turned out it was the Nazis because uh, Hermann Goring would be the one to admit that it was a bunch of SA stormtroopers that got a a communist guy completely drunk off his backside, left him uh, pretty much zoused and you know, drunk as a skunk, 
uh, in the morning, or walking around the bike shop after they left, burning this thing, the uh, German uh, government building, where the parliament or like Congress here in America is. Uh, so, but you know, back to us saying Adolf Hitler would uh, tell the Nazi leaders to go attack to shops and have everyone in the muzzle that was pro Nazi pretty much uh, attack the Jewish people, you know, burn down synagogues, you know, beat up Jews, attack them, break the, the glass windows of the shops. And that's what Christodot was, was night of broken glass. Uh, now, one person said, no, can you give me, like, Hitler's kill count? You can Google this stuff for your statistics. If you want the actual statistics, I'm not going to read that off to you. I'm giving you a background info here, okay? If you want that, you can go research that. You can go Google that, okay? You go find out yourself. That's what I encourage on this channel. I will give you background info, you do more research. That is how you do history. That's how you learn. That's how you grow in education. The professor and teacher is not to spoon feed it to you to do the research outside of class. You're supposed to learn outside of class. Uh, so, but after Christmas happened, Hitler would have all the Jewish people clean up everything, pay for all the damages. And then when people would find offense to this, Hitler would blame Goebbels or the other Nazi leaders. And they would be the fall guy. So this is a common tactic of his. So he wouldn't get blamed, even though he's the one who instigated the whole thing. Now I'm going to leave you off here at the end of this video. Uh, and I'm going to continue to the next video here on the life and death of Adolf Hitler lecture series uh, slash uh, the Holocaust series that I forgot to even put in the last videos from December. So this is Le the Lisa State of the YouTube channel's Lisa State telling you to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to uh, send it to all. You can share these videos, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear uh, about future video suggestions. Uh, that's how we pretty much got the Holocaust uh, video series going. It was someone's suggestion, so thank you for that. Uh, you can go to my BitChute uh, channel on BitChute.com. That's Lisa Marie Stayed, one word. You can donate to my Patreon, my subscribe store. Uh, you can definitely go to my TikTok now. Yes, I have a couple of videos uploaded there. Uh, hopefully, I plan to do a little bit more history trivia stuff that's probably not uh, Hitler or Nazi related, thank God. Hopefully, other things. Uh, when time is available, I'm definitely having to go through a crunch in graduation, transfer, YouTube, and stuff uh, here. So, very busy. Uh, you can go to my Facebook uh, account here, uh, Lisa Stayed, or my Facebook Messenger account, uh, the same name, Lisa Stayed. You can send me a friend request, uh, you can send me a message, you can do both. Uh, so on to the next video here, uh, where we left off on the life and death lecture series of Adolf Hitler. Uh.